Okay, bonus Friday video for two reasons. One, uh, in case you don't follow me on my podcast Twitter account, uh, I did post that there no podcast this week. Um, I will explain why, and I'm hoping that I'll have it up by the beginning of next week. So, um, one of the reasons that there's not going to be my podcast list, not going to be ready this week is because I'm going down to visit my family in Delaware for the weekend. So I won't be anywhere near any, any editing software or anything. So that's part of the reason. <clears throat> the second thing I want to talk about is I want my YouTube channel to not be a place of negativity because the YouTube and the internet in general is it's full of plenty of that. And I don't want this to be a negative space. Um, I, I would like it to generally be positive, uplifting, and at least, you know, beneficial to others. But I really need to call myself out on something. And I want to talk about my week. Um, so I'm probably going to cry. It's probably going to happen at some point because that's kind of what I do. But basically, this week was a very stressful week for me, um, at work specifically, but also at home, mostly though, at work. And I'm not going to go into any details about it, but if you really want to know, uh, you feel free to DM me or if you have my number or whatever, you can text me and we can talk about it specifically if you're interested. But basically, just really stressful, emotionally stressful week at work. So... And um, I'm not clinically diagnosed yet, but I'm pretty sure like I have either like depression or at least like exceptionally low uh, self-esteem and all kinds of fun, you know, like mental in my own head is not always a great place to be things. Um, so sometimes I get stuck in my own head and I get in these like thoughts of like, nobody likes me, everybody hates me, guess I'll go eat worms kind of mentality. And I start thinking, you know, really, really poorly. I, I start to have these really poor mental loops that I get on. And I tried, you know, doing stuff to, to help with that and whatever. And then I start getting stuck on these things where I'm like, well, you know, my tumblr post didn't get enough likes or reblogs or you know that tweet that I tweeted like nobody even noticed it and I start getting stuck in these like nobody actually likes me uh, I might as well just forget about the whole thing thought process um, and you know as much as that stinks <sighs> to feel like that it it's not beneficial. It's not beneficial and it's not helpful. And, and and to be completely honest, it's like really selfish of me to to start getting into those those um, thought patterns. And I'm not super proud of it, but you know, this week I did um, start a GoFundMe, and I'm gonna say the negative thing, and then I'm gonna say the positive thing. But the negative thought that I had is that I'm not getting enough donations in my first week. And that's a really, really crappy way to look at it because I was fortunate enough to actually have three human beings that cared enough about me and that could contribute to my cause actually do that. And when I start to get in these negative thought patterns. That's how I start to look at things. I don't look at them in a positive light. I look at them in a, well, I didn't get enough a whatever, or I didn't, not enough people care about me. And, and that, 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 that honestly, that is total crap. And I'm not proud of it, but it's human. And if I'm going to be real, on this channel, then I'm going to be honest about some of the not so great parts of who I am. And that's one of them. 
and I, I don't like it. And there's a real history there to why my brain goes there. And, and even in making this video, like I have these thoughts in my head, like nobody's actually going to care that you're doing this or the people that do care are going to be overly concerned about you. And, and I get like a lot of these thoughts in my own head about thinking these thoughts. So like thoughts on thoughts. And, and I just, I have to call myself out because in the same week that I'm worried about people not liking me enough, and, you know, all of these, like, little petty, petty things that I had in my own head, I find out that one of my friends was, like, really petrified that he might have cancer. And, I mean, fortunately, he doesn't, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. But here I am thinking that not enough people like me, and, you know... One of my good friends might be having cancer. So, um, that really stinks that I get stuck in my own head a lot and I start thinking, like, me, 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 and it's all about me and how many, you know, people like my video and, and all this stuff and social media. I can see how you can get really wrapped up in your own, you know, head with stuff like that but here's the thing um I don't want to be like that and I don't want to be that person so I am going to try and take a step back from that thought process and that mentality and try to focus more on doing good for others because here's the last story that I'm going to tell um, in the same week that I had all of this, like, stressful, emotional stuff happen at work that really just plummeted my self-esteem and kind of sent me into a little bit of a depression state, God gifted me, and I swear this was a gift. It may not seem like it, but God gifted me with uh, my son <laughs> getting sick. And... If you've ever been a parent, or if you are a parent, when your child is sick, um, that's it. That's the only thing that matters, is taking care of them and being there for them. And I was actually working on my podcast on Thursday, or no, Wednesday night, and my husband actually put the kids to bed, and... A few minutes after my husband put the kids to bed, my son, my son starts crying, and I'm like, not sure really what's going on, so then my husband comes downstairs and lets me know my son just threw up all over himself. So we're like, okay, so we go, and I just go into action mode. And I go, and I take care of him, and, you know, I rock him, and I love him, and, you know, he's young, so he has no idea what is happening to him. He's just scared, because something scary just happened to him. So I love him and I put him back to bed and mm, like 10 minutes after that, he throws up again, even more. So I go back upstairs, I get him all taken care of, I clean up his bed. And this time I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm not working on my podcast tonight. He needs me. So I bring him downstairs with me and basically I spend the entire night taking care of him and fortunately he only threw up like one other time after that but for the rest of the night I just had to make sure that he was okay and that you know he was not going to like choke on his own vomit or anything and just basically I was able to get out of my own selfish thoughts and take care of my kid which is like the thing the thing about being a parent that is so incredibly rewarding and it means so much to me that I am able to do that and that I am able to be there for my children and just to say it's okay because I'm, I'm here and I've got you and that it's not about me or how many likes my tweet gets it is about this child that needs me to be there for them 
and it is about them feeling safe. And so when that happened, it made me realize how silly and how selfish I was being. <sighs> and it was a gift for me to be able to take care of him and to be there for him. And that's why I'm so glad I'm a parent. <laughs> That's also why I'm not going to have my podcast ready probably until next week. But more so than anything, like, I, I do, I get nervous when I have to, when I think about putting up a video where I'm not saying all wonderful and happy things. But I do believe that if I'm going to be doing this, then I want to be real. And, and I want... To call myself out when I do things like that and when I say things that basically that hurt other people and that when I'm being selfish because there are so many worse things in this world than what happened to me and that doesn't mean that what happened to me this week was great but I'll be fine and I'll live and it'll be okay and and I just need to keep my focus balanced between taking care of my own self, taking care of my own wants and needs, and being there for other people because that's really what it's all about, is being there for the people that need you. And I want to do that. I want to be there for the people that need me. So, all right, um, I guess that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about. And, uh, see what happens next week hopefully my podcast will be ready by then I'm really I really am excited about it it's really gonna be a good one and I'm really looking forward to getting it all put together so all right we'll see what happens next week bye